All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to talk about the Miami Red Hawks for the 2016 college football season. Last year, they went on um, three and nine overall under head coach Chuck Martin, who is entering his third season, and I do wish him the best of luck. Now they're still kind of duking things out at quarterback with Billy Ball, who acts in uh, Gus uh, Raglan. My opinion, I think Gus Raglan should be the starting quarterback at the beginning of the season because of his better ability to. To run the football. He was actually second in the team in rushing last season. Billy Bell actually threw eight touchdown passes to 13 interceptions. That is not a good look for him. That's why another reason why I think Raglan should get to start at quarterback at the beginning of the season. Now they do have the return of the number one and number three wide receiver um, in Raheem Williams who was number one and number three in Jared Murphy which is a good thing. Also Alonzo Smith is back at running back but he averaged just four yards per carry. Now, on the defensive side, that's where they struggled most. Um, now, there are a couple players that's going to have to step it up. T.J. Williams, number 49, is going to have to step it up at, at linebacker. He actually missed, I believe, the final game of the season. And they do have a couple players in the secondary that I'm looking forward to show just a little bit more leadership and because of the, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, their skills at Tony Reed, the safety and cornerback on um, Burt um, um, Bert Bird shit, shit, shall. I think these are the two players who are going to have to step it up just to show me a little bit more. I'm not really having too much faith on the defense. Now, if you take a look at their schedule, it is a little bit of a, um, a, a simple schedule to me. I think they have an opportunity to pull off a couple more victories against Eastern Michigan, um, um, Buffalo, they could possibly be Ohio, as well as Eastern Illinois. I think they could pull off four victories, but I'm really going to pull off another three and nine season four victories at best to four and eight. I think that's the, the best record that they can get this upcoming season. So this is a little bit of a scare for me. Miami of Ohio still struggling trying to pick up good recruitments and try to build more more uh, uh, momentum in the MAC conference. This is just a little bit too much of a struggle for them. Now next I'm going to catch you guys from being just a couple minutes. I have one more blog for this morning. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keith McCall. Be easy.